All right, so you can see June 23, 2023, CCSP, I passed. Uh, I'm get, this video I'm only making because there were some people on uh, in WGU and on YouTube that I deem far more intelligent than me and they had far more industry experience and they said that they did not pass. Um, so that spooked me to the point you can see I have two books, I bought two books. Uh, if you see my notes that is like this thick uh, journal. I, I'm, I'm gonna show you like what I've been through to just to pass this but just because uh, of their experience and now that I have gone through the exam itself I know a lot better and if how I would do if uh, I were to do it again and possibly help you how to easily pass it first thing first uh, I bought this book the reason because the other book the my uh, Mike Myers no it's not Mike Myers it's uh, I'll get to that book in a bit as uh, David Seidel and the other guy so their book it all of the books they are in the same pattern I barely passed SSCP I uh, and at that time I that was the last try it's, I decided no more I'm not gonna buy their books their uh, their the content is uh, subpar the questions uh, the practice questions they are nowhere near what this in the exam is so I bought this book thinking I'm a dummy uh, I did not end up reading it the reason it's funny it's extremely funny the pages the pages were rough and they were like rough pages and uh, I don't know what kind of mood I was in I just threw it and I bought this one I was like okay I'm gonna go through this book big mistake big mistake this book is boring it's bone dry it's it's worse than project plus i've been through project plus but i, I you know i i struggle uh not to sleep while reading this book biggest mistake uh i will not recommend anyone to buy this book 60 bucks wasted down the drain and this is not true i'm gonna show you in a bit i i actually went through this and this this says 300 but there are a lot of repetition of the questions that it's almost 200 just not even two full sets uh, isc square uh, the ccsp exam had 150 question 125 of them were uh, graded so you can see 125 for max 2 is 250 not accurate i will not recommend this book or content uh, the anyone uh, the exam question might be I'm not uh, I won't this however the practice questions uh, did make me uh, step back think about before answering so I will recommend this uh, and after taking the test I came back open the book and reading yes I will recommend this book if somebody wants to read uh, but there is something else that I will recommend, highly recommend over this. Let's get to the other screen. All right, so uh, I'm on my other screen. Um, as you can see, I am through WGU, so I do have access to all the books. Uh, at that time, this was not there, and the other, the newer uh, CCSP book was not. The instructor sent me uh, an email Okay, the guy's name is Mike Chappell. So Mike Chappell and David Seidel, I will not recommend the, any of their books for any of the exams. The pattern is same across all of the cybersecurity and the practice questions are garbage. I'm sorry to say that, uh, but they are. Uh, don't waste your time and energy and money on unless uh, Cybex you know they say okay they bring on more uh, authors all right so let me put where my my mouth where my money is and say here hey, i'm not just making these things up 
I have read their book, uh, Security Plus, uh, SSCP, CYSA. So I'm ta talking uh, through experience. You can see right here, I had it and have it. So you can see a practice test, second edition. This was, uh, the guy name was, this was a Ben, ben Maloso. So the, that time when I got the email from instructor, he uh, said, uh, in his email uh, instructed to get this uh, like there was instruction how to get this uh, practice test and do not attempt the WGU uh, the paper the, the, that exam is different it's an internal exam do not attempt unless I'm getting 90% here something like that I took this test I can show you I did all of them 100% so I'm not making this up you can see I was doing just 68% and at that time uh, this the uh, Ben Maliso book yeah yes the ex uh, exam qu uh, practice questions were good uh, there was l the the wording uh, the difficulty was up to the standard of uh, the actual exam uh, but the actual exam was much harder uh, I'm, I'm gonna say that uh, still, they were much better than the third edition. Uh, I saw 68%. I said, hey, I am nowhere near where I should be, so I should go ahead and uh, take the, uh, the these, these and the other book that I showed you, uh, McGraw Health book. I should take their practice question. And one day I was just searching here, and I found the other one, the uh, the updated one. So by the time I was done with this uh, bank, the third edition was populated into WGA library. I went ahead and took that as well. Now you can see 74%. You can say, hey, if they were so bad, why you were doing 74%? Because with the full-time job, I was just like, uh, I was more interested in uh, click and see the answer rather than step back and thinking. Uh, but all of the questions, um, they, they were so not uh, CCSP. They were more like uh, just general questions. Um, so at that point, I was like, nope, I can't do it anymore. I went ahead, took the WGU test, passed, and then I went to uh, CCSP. So I went for this one and I got these tests. So now these exams, uh, uh, you can see again 70%, they were much harder. They were near n the actual exam, still not the actual exam. The actual exam was a lot harder. You can see here. And this one was, so McGraw Hill, I don't remember, but it, it had uh, the, uh, I took that as well. So, at that time, I was like I, a cloud guru. I have an active subscription through my employer. So I went ahead, took this test as well. You can see I was, everywhere I was taking it was just 74%. Uh, this test was, I, I will not say that this will, this is close to uh, the actual test. No. Now, uh, me this this is something that I will recommend everybody to go ahead take this course it's only 16 17 hours something like that it's gonna be mentioned somewhere at a cloud group if you can afford it and if you want to pass it so you can see all of these things they did not help me they did not prepare me the thing that uh, helped me pass the actual test was this cloud practitioner that I had taken literally in 2021. Uh, I can show you my uh, cloud practitioner where it is right there. So you can see I got that on 25, January 25, 2021, almost more than two years ago. So you can see I did complete it. And this actually, uh, made me familiar of all the cloud terminolo terminology. Uh, it uh, helped me drill down the differences, everything. 
everything that helped me pass in CCSP came from here what uh, but there are two other things that helped me and you're not gonna like it uh, do not attempt this exam if you are through WGU until you have passed CompTIA Project Plus and ITIL Foundations so ITIL Foundation uh, uh, there were some questions related to that and some questions that were all management related they were from Project Plus so for example ITIL uh, configuration management incident management problem management and there was one more thing something like that so you, you just need to know the pairs uh, I have talked about the pairs like keyword pairs if it, there was a keyword certain keyword in the uh, there then it's gonna be in there but look for the trick questions where they put the both the keywords but then where the condition is uh, the you need to find the condition and that condition related keyword is your uh, pair that you need to look for uh, project plus yes there were a lot of questions from pro project management not actually project management but uh, IT management that were all related to so if you have those it will be easy uh, for you to pass now um, the exam tip uh, this is very important I'm not kidding take the cloud practitioner even if you don't pass or oh, so uh, if you don't take this uh, practitioner test uh, uh, it will help you you don't have to read those uh, uh, dry books except for the dummies the dummies uh, after the after taking the test I read it uh, uh, just skim through it yes I should have read that book instead uh, you can do that but this one uh, the, the exam is only $150 if you want to go ahead and get an, another uh, feather in your cap uh, I will strongly suggest if you are running out of time uh, or you don't want to go through the hassle it's your call I will I will strongly recommend especially like if you have some cloud certificates in your portfolio looks good on you uh, the exam itself super hard I had mixed feelings CYSA when I was sitting in CYSA I had a feeling that hey, I I failed and I was in my home like I took the uh, exam from home and uh, you know the comfort of your home uh, you did not run through the traffic you did not have to go through the uh, the process at a, at a uh, like would they uh, they uh, take picture they take your pound scan they may make you empty your pockets give you a locker all that things no you just sit on your your regular normal chair and take the exam and that exam uh, I, wa I was sure hey I feel this exam I had a mixed feeling and that was all because thanks to this cloud practitioner uh, this gave me a little bit that mixed 50-50 uh, confidence uh, the question itself they were super hard uh, they were uh, worded in a way that is special to ISC square uh, I hate them but apparently their uh, uh, certifications uh, in that realm are gold the how I tackle them normally uh, what people tell you hey eliminate the answers uh, two of the answers right away you can eliminate and then it's 50 50 chance between the other two uh, what I was doing is I was reading the question and eliminating the uh, unnecessary parts of the question itself finding the condition and then matching that to that those two that I had gone down to uh, that this could be potential answers still throughout the exam uh, I was not sure that I'm passing I was like hey I will know once I get out and go to the front desk and get my uh, printout the exam uh, had 150 questions uh, they say that 125 are graded 25 are just uh, inserted in there for God knows what uh, I did not like it uh, I, my exam was scheduled for 8 o'clock 
I was there before eight o'clock, but it was a busy day. I could not, I was not in my seat until uh, eight fifteen ish. I was, uh, I took three hours. Yes, I, I did not burn through the questions, so uh, it took me three hours, and I was done by eleven fifteen. No, no, actually, uh, I'm sorry. No, I was done eleven forty ish because uh, I checked the time when I was leaving the building and that was 11.50 so it took me 10 minutes to get out of the chair and go get the um, exit the building so uh, that that's all I have if anybody wants to ask a particular question I am open but yeah this was the most difficult exam and I'm glad I passed it, especially because uh, it was $600, uh, the exam voucher was, that was paid for WGU. I'm very thankful to them, and I am happy that I made good of that money. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.